the Florida Everglades. This 4,300 square mile habitat is the largest subtropical wetland in America, home to over 600 different animal species, some of which aren't found anywhere else in the world. The American alligator, one of the most well-known animals in the Everglades, is the alpha predator, can grow up to 15 feet in length and can weigh up to a half a ton. But even this prehistoric reptile is being threatened by a relatively new invasive species. Pythons in the Everglades are a threat in many ways. They, um, one, once they get big, they have no natural predators. Um, the only thing that can actually take them out are alligators. And when that confrontation occurs, it's a matter of who gets who first. If the alligator gets the snake first, the snake goes down. If the snake gets the alligator first, the alligator goes down. But growing up, they have no natural predators, no, um, nothing that actually preys upon them, and they eat just about everything. Um, also, the Everglades in Florida, it's very warm all year long, um, which is prime living conditions for reptiles. Um, so the snakes are able to get a little bigger, faster, um, and become more and more of a problem. Although there are other non-native species invading the Everglades, none has had a greater impact than the Burmese python, capable of eating an alligator up to six feet. Well, there's about 200,000 invasive big snakes in the Everglades now, the five of which are the Colombian red-tailed boa, the Burmese python, the African rock python, the reticulated python, and the green anaconda. The last three I said aren't that big of an invasive. There's, um, they're not really that popular, but they are out there, and they will thrive out in the Everglades. Um, and that number continues to grow. They're gonna breed each snake. When it has a litter, can have between 40 to 60 eggs. Um, out of that 40 to 60, usually about 20 to 30 will survive to adulthood. Herpetologists mostly blame the pet trade for this new threat. When you get them in the, the pet stores, you start off with between a three to four foot snake, sometimes a little smaller. Um, and in a year, that snake will grow about two feet. In that time, you're feeding it little rats, mice, things of that size. Um, after that two feet, when the snake gets to be about six to seven feet, it's going to start eating larger rats and becoming a lot more aggressive during feeding times. This is usually the time when people release their snakes out into the Everglades um, because the snake has attacked them while they were feeding it. They had to go to the hospital because they had, do have teeth about that big um, that are all needle sharp, curved back, and give you stitches, send to the hospital with some f severe bleeding. Um, this other release them out. Once they get about that size, they'll eating, they can eat rats, or I'm sorry, rabbits, dogs, small animals like that. When they get up to about 12 to 13 feet, they can start taking out people, not actually eating us. They can never eat us because the distance around our shoulders is too big for the mouth to open up around. But they can easily kill an adult man. Um, after that, they start going after alligators, which are, uh, they can swallow them. Uh, uh, about a six to seven foot alligator can easily be swallowed by a 16 foot python. To combat the python, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission has created a special python hunting season, which starts March 8th to April 17th. With the help of python hunters in Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, we can hopefully save the Florida Everglades.